bustling capital of Bangladesh, Dhaka, here to visit some of our favourite producers for story. There is a sacred place in the busy, beating heart of the city, called the Mazar. The site attracts the faithful from miles around, but also the down on luck, in search of salvation. People often vulnerable to exploitation. And so this holy place has become a breeding ground of iniquity. Many young women find themselves lured into the sex trade and at risk of trafficking. But just a short distance from here, there is a lifeline to a different future. We're at Basham Boutique, our headquarter office in Dhaka. In the Bengali language, Basham means house and Asha means hope. So our concept was, this is our house of hope. So I came to Bangladesh in 2006 and worked with an NGO and we started a training program for women who wanted an alternative to prostitution. They had a lot of shame. So we started a training program and discovered that so many women wanted this opportunity to have a dignified life. Basha is a craft centre and a safe house. It was set up to support women who've been trafficked and to offer dignified work to women who want to learn a skill in craft. We arrived at the production centre just ahead of the sari wala, his bicycle laden with bales of used cloth collected from across the city and beyond. The women sort through these saris and decide which pieces they can reuse to make a traditional quilt known in the region as kantha. We're checking the saris that we uh, received. If it has too many holes, it goes inside, so there's a higher quality on the outside. A lot of our products are Kanta, which is a 500 year plus tradition in this part of the world, in the Bengal region of India and Bangladesh. This is one of the oldest forms of embroidery from the Bengal region and a skill passed on from generation to generation. Women repurpose saris, sometimes using five or six different pieces of cloth layered one on top of another. They then delicately decorate the cotton with a simple running stitch, a technique and textile known as kantha, transforming each piece of used fabric into a unique quilt. Nitti is in charge of colour matching and explains that the cloth must not be too fragile or have more than five imperfections to patch. The best saris are saved for the front and back of the quilt. Different pattern, different color, um, which is which goes together and looks nice. Maybe opposite, I can take blue or black so that it each together each other. We especially love just the symbolism for our particular kanta because it's women who really thought their lives were over. When we first meet them, they'll say things like, oh, it's too late for me, or there's no hope for me, or can you just help my child? And instead we see them blossom as they learn to sew these things. So as they take this discarded cloth, they layer it, they sew it, they turn it into something beautiful, just as she's remaking her life into something beautiful. It's a really beautiful symbolism. One floor up from the production centre is the organisation's daycare unit. How many children do you have at the uh, centre? Okay, we have 52. 52? Yes. That's a lot of children. Yeah. <laughs> we use this class, we teach them the colour, knowing the colour, the counting things, and the alphabet knowing stars. So, how many hours school do they do in the morning? Uh, morning, uh, four hours. Hello. One, two, three, four, 
तीन चार पांच छः छः रखो में रंग आ सकता है क्या सिद्धांत ना We found right away that daycare was really important. When we first started employing women, supporting them not only to earn a living, not only to earn a dignified living, but also to take care of their children was really essential. আমি বাসায় বাসা অফিস থেকে যে কাজটা হয় সেটা নিয়ে যাই আর বাচ্চাকে দেখাশোনা করি What impact has working for Basha had on your life? বাসা অফিস আমাকে অনেক হেল্প করছে প্রথমত কাপ অফিস থেকে আসছি কাপ অফিস অনেক কষ্টে ছিলাম বা হয়তো অল্প কিছু পাইতাম আর এখন হয়তো মানে দুই মাস যাবত ভালো টাকা পাই বা সংসারও ভালোমতো চলে আমার এই আমার উপকার হইছে আমার বাচ্চাটা একটু রেখা কাজ করতে পারি আর বাইরে বাচ্চা রেখা কাজ করার মতো কোনো স্কোপ নাই যার কারণে বাসা অফিস থেকে আমি এইটুকু হেল্প পাইছি আ মেসেজ টু পিপল হু মাই বাই দ্য ব্ল্যাঙ্কেটস ওয়াই শুড দে বাই फ्रॉम বাসা এই আমাদের প্রোডাক্ট ভালো সবাই আমরা বোনেরা ভালো কাজ করি এবং আমাদের প্রোডাক্ট কিনে কিনলে হয়তো আমরা আমাদের বাচ্চারা ভালো থাকবে ভালো স্কুলে পড়াশোনা করবে আমাদেরও মন ভালো থাকবে আমাদের মন অন্য কোথাও যাবে না আমরা একটা মানে আমাদের কাজের মাধ্যমে আমরা মানে বাইরে মানে কাজের মাধ্যমে বাইরের যোগাযোগটা হবে বা আমাদের কাজ দেখে সবাই ভালোবাসবে এই তখন কাজ করতে করতে অনেক উন্নতি হয়েছে ভালো হয়েছে ভালোভাবে চলতে পারি বাচ্চাদের নিয়ে এক বছর অনেক কিছুই পাই কথা বলেন হ্যাঁ হ্যাঁ the organization has a number of different training centers across the country so we have six different production centers and so we have around 130 women in production and we have around 155 children in daycares just sure is one of our training programs it's run by a nonprofit called friends of basha so women come there for the six month training um, we have a transition home they can live in if they're if they need that support as well and they have the mental health support and the six months to prepare for work. And we find that that's really an important time, especially if she's coming directly or fairly recently out of a brothel or out of being trafficked abroad. She needs that time to heal before she can really work well. This area has a lot of homeless people, really vulnerable women, vulnerable to trafficking, or some that were, that were in brothels within Bangladesh and then returned to this area. So I am Tabitha. I'm working for Basha. So I am working from 2012 to still now. So it's 10 years now. So I'm working with women. I love them very much and they are very lovely and they are very pretty. So I love to serve them as well. So we have uh, like production center where women are working now. And then we have uh, transitional home, daycare and training program. And we have uh, like uh, sex worker, like who, some people, women, they do prostitution. Then some we have widow, divorce, and some are very at risk. We have some girls who uh, return from Bangladesh from out of country, like India, Lebanon, Saudi. So first, their family doesn't want to accept them. There are no life skills that we should take for granted. The women here are taught the fundamentals. 
we have some uh, very emergency topic like savings, bank account, how to write my own name, how, how I can count my money. I'm coming home to you. And I... This is work these women can be proud of. With these skills and true tenacity, these artisans are building new lives for themselves and promoting a more sustainable way of living, shining a spotlight on the country's cultural wealth by returning to age-old craft traditions. When we first started making them, the women would say like, why do people want these? To them, it's like a humble thing that they made themselves in their home. And they couldn't understand why we, outside of Bangladesh, love them so much. But they're just, you know, these treasures of completely handmade blanket and, and products that are just so special. It's a blanket and you have it in your home or you give it as a gift and to know that this was handmade by somebody and it is changing that person's life. And so you can enjoy that product because you know the story behind it. You know the impact that it has. A few women who started from the beginning of this Bash Enterprises Limited, um, that time their children were small. But now they are so grown up and now they are studying, they are continuing their studies and they are having uh, good dreams. They are dreaming good future that they want to be doctors, engineers and nurse and teacher that they are grown up and they are having their own dreams. the magic places in the world I've been to. This is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.